All right, and uh, everybody's making a video about this situation, so I guess I better weigh in and you know put my little two cents on on this little situation. So uh, this has to do with a lady's rant at a black man uh, in New York. Uh, for actually starting his vehicle around her children, you know, mind you, his his car was in a illegally in a parking space. It was legally there. Uh, he didn't do anything to try to he didn't intentionally mis try to mistreat this lady's children or anything like that. He didn't do anything intentionally to try to do anything to them. The man simply got in his car and started his car. So we're gonna take a look at. Uh, what was going on with that? So let's let's take a quick look. So what obviously happened is the man did the smart thing. He documented it. He called the police. He documented it, not only video documented it, but he documented it with the police. So there was no way for her to come back and say, it let be a little Trayvon Martin situation. He was attacking me. And that's why I did that. He can't, she can't do that this time, right? They can't do that this time. So he videotaped it. And this is a lesson for all of y'all black, for all of us as black people. As much as you can document it, document it. Call the authorities and you in a situation like this because especially, you know, especially when you dealing with white people, you know, or non-black people. I should say it like that because if you're dealing with somebody that's not black, brother, you know whose side is going to be taken automatically. That's it. You already know the, the system is set up to take their side and throw you down the gutter. So this man did the right thing, and I'm and I'm and I'm encouraging us all to do the same thing whenever we confronted with a situation like this, where it's going to be your word against their word. You should start documenting immediately. Okay, let's move on. So, so far he ain't did nothing illegal, right? She, this is just a, this is just a disagreement. This is just a confrontation that she came up to him to confront him, right? So he, he is doing nothing but sitting in his vehicle, documenting this, documenting this situation. He ain't breaking no laws. He documenting this. Okay. Now, all he's doing is saying to her, he, he, he's expressing his dissatisfaction with her behavior. That's all he's doing. He ain't breaking no laws. He got the right as a human, as a as a as an American citizen, he got the right to voice his opinion, right? He got the freedom of speech, so they say, right? So he got the right to voice his dis displeasure with her behavior. He ain't breaking no laws. He ain't disrespecting her. He's just voicing his displeasure with her behavior, right? Okay, let's move on. Well, I, the reason why I say this, let me break this down. The reason why I say this is because you got some people out here saying, oh, he's egging this girl on, right? He's egging her on, right? He's, he, so in other words, when you getting, when you get done as a black person, see, this is the inference that they putting out there. If you as a black person are getting treated, mistreated, what you should do is never say another word about it and just walk about your business. Take it, put it up under your armpit, and walk away with it. And you keep that. The person, this person, gets to say, gets to relieve themselves of their hatred to you or whatever the real situation was going on in their life. They get to give you that problem, and then now they gave you a problem, and you're supposed to keep that problem and not uh, relieve yourself of that problem and give that problem right back to them. That's foolish. That's foolish. No, that's foolish. He got the right to this voice his displeasure with her mistreatment of him. That is not egging her on. That's him. Uh, uh, that's that's him processing that situation. And as he's processing it, his 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 emotional state is reacting to the processing that's going on in his mentality. And that's what's making him say things back to her because he's not he's processing it at the same time. He got which he has a right to do. This is America, and he's supposed to have the freedom of speech, right? 
He's not doing anything illegal. He's not disrespecting her. He's not even disrespecting her. He's not even doing anything. He's not threatening her anything. He's not saying making threats to her or anything, which obviously she would have said if he wasn't documenting this information. He wasn't documenting this situation. So he got hot. Now he's hot that she did that. But he's calling the police. He's on the line with the police. He's staying right there till the police come. Or whatever the situation, whatever the case may be. If, if he's on hold or whatever, he's waiting for them. Whatever. He's doing whatever he's doing. He got a right to sit in that parking lot all day until they close the place down. He ain't gotta he ain't gotta move because some white ladies mad at him, right? Okay. But this, you got some people out here on the internet saying he got to move. He should leave. He should leave right away. If good white people like that holler at you, you need to get on out of there, boy. Okay. Please do. Now you see why this, you can you can see why this lady is by herself. I mean, just aside from being just hideous, aside from that, just just aside from that, just that that just that nasty nastiness, just that just that whole vibe. Her whole vibe is just like. Whew. So I guess she's calling the the the, the patriarch of the family. The, M, the dude that's actually working to make sure she can be at the store in the middle of the daytime. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she ain't with no. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows who she calling? Who? Whatever the situation, whatever the case may be, just a bad at a bad person with a bad attitude. So the reason why we need to make videos about stuff like this is because, see, we forget that there's people out there like that. We as young as black people, because we're so caught up in today's society, you get caught up and you think people out here ain't like that. So you need to know how to respond to people like this, man. You need to know how to respond instead of getting violent with them and they haven't done nothing. This lady didn't do nothing violent to this man. All she did was say words. All she did was create vibrations into in, in, and move, move molecules in the oxygen over to to where his ear drums could pick up those molecules move the, the movement in the air in the oxygen that's all she did she did not touch this man she did not threaten this man she did not come to threaten him with physical violence except for when with the cough when she later she threatens to throw the coffee on him but or she threatens to get him out of the car but she don't directly threaten him she don't directly threaten him now you know as a black person if you would have made the same type of threat veiled threats like that like i'm going to go do this talking to another person tell another person what you're going to do to this person then you would have been perceived as making threatening moves to her but he didn't even he didn't even trip on that he just sat there documenting the whole thing i commend this brother man he, he documented this thing so we need to show uh young people how to respond to stuff like this stop being hot-headed and emotional start studying this type of people man so you can be prepared for them when you meet them in the street you will be victorious with them this man was victorious and ultimately his positive program is gonna get this lady help push his positive program but I'm gonna but I'm gonna get into that later come on let's 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 finish up this little thing See, the poor children, they so used to this fool. They 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 it ain't it's just another day. You know, it's just another day for them. They they probably see this kind of behavior out of this crazy lady all the time. Now my question is, who is she on the phone with? What is she supposed to be doing? What what, what I don't get to what she's supposed to be doing. Oh, she's calling somebody. She's calling some white man to come and handle this situation okay just like i mean you know that's i guess that's what people do whenever something go wrong they call a white man they call some white man the police the fbi you know some white man you know somebody to come and and settle the problem with a black person right all right well like i said it's nothing wrong with calling the authorities when something is done wrong but when 
this lady obviously see it she would be able to lie 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 her ass off which she probably gonna do in the coming weeks out she gonna probably say that he it was a whole oh it was a bunch of stuff going on before the video started see it was a whole bunch going on before the video he tried to grab my ass he tried to do that okay so prepare yourself for the lies that's gonna come out prepare yourself because they gonna come out this lady this stupid ass lady gonna go say a whole bunch of stuff because you can see the type of person she is she not gonna tell the truth hey I tripped I came out there I was having a bad day he started the car scared my daughter I thought you know I just didn't even think about it and you know I just react overreacted and you know I shouldn't have did that you think she got enough woman she this is a she enough of a woman to come out and say that no she gonna lie her ass off it's because why there's probably a lot of white people that's going to support her with that i mean not all white people going to do it support her from that you know some white people man they they going to be down with what's right that's just what they're going to do but they are the minority when it comes to white people those people are the minority in, in, in the white community man. the average white person going to be like yeah i would react the same way if you did this to me that's the majority so you know you can't um uh, you know, think that everybody's on your team. You know what I mean? There's some, like I said, there's some white people, man. They just, you know, they just good hearted, so they just gonna be down with whatever. But don't get it twisted, like oh, all of them. Like no, no, don't don't think that. You know, that's 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 like thinking all black people like rap music. All white people, all black people ain't into rap music. You know what I mean? So you know you can't think all everybody's all one way. You still, you gotta screen everybody. You know what I mean? You gotta just see what everybody's about before you down with him but anyway getting back to this lady i know that the, the accusation is gonna start flying so I, I, I i'm glad this brother went on all the news broadcasts and got in front of it so that she can't come out and lie well she looks stupid because she gonna lie she gonna come out and say he tried to do something to me he tried to grab my daughter he tried to do this that's what people like this do they gonna make up lies yeah we saw in the zimmerman case we saw in countless cases where the police shoot somebody in the back 55 times they said oh they approached me they try to attack me how can they attack you from the back brother you i mean man you shot them in the back and they got 55 bullets in the back how did they run at you backwards or how, you know so people gonna lie they gonna lie especially people like these type of people right here they gonna lie so you always document everything that's the lesson we learn in here all right Now, you can't get mad at this little boy, man. This little boy, he just saying, hey, there's some dude that my, my mama mad at some dude. I'm mad at him. He just riding with his mama. He don't know no better. He just he just mad because his mama mad at him. You know, just like you. Your mama will be mad at somebody. You just going to ride with your mama. So, for right now, we're going to leave these people out of this thing here, man. These, these, these people out of this thing. It's unfortunate that they're going to learn. They're going to probably grow up to you know probably be the same way but for right now for right now we gotta say okay look this little cat right here what can you do can't be mad at him he just ride, he just riding with his mom i'm sure if his mama was mad at a white dude he would be rolling he would be mad at the dude too all right Now he's still expressing. He's still he's still expressing. He's st he's upset, but he ain't trying to do nothing physical. He's and, and now this wouldn't have never happened. If she was just went in the store, that wouldn't have never happened. But she's staying here. She's staying here. So I heard other people say, "Oh man, you know he egging her on. She wouldn't be getting egged on if she just would have took her ass right in the store. Took her and her innocent children in the store. But no." She gonna show this nigga what what time it is, you know. You ain't gonna start you ain't gonna start your car in front of my children. You wait till my children walk by, then you start your car. Yeah, I'm gonna show you, nigga. Okay. He scared her kids. He scared her kids starting her car, starting his car. I mean.
Now, she walks up to his window, right? See, see, she gets up that close to him. Now, if he was, if the shoe was around on the other foot, she was sitting in her car. He came up to her, brother, we already know. I got videos where the police came in 10 seconds on a black man doing the same thing a white dude did, a white person did, right? We, 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 we got this history already. But see, this is, this is the privilege. Some of them take, because, oh, I'm white. I could just walk up to you and threaten you, and it ain't no big deal. And you better take this shit, nigga, and take it and eat it and go out, go about your business. Now, we got some people online saying, hey, this black dude did the wrong thing. He should have just got out of there. You can't even rile up good white folks. This is what's going to happen to you. Now, see, this brother right here is saying, damn, what's going to happen here? You know? Now, he probably thinking, oh, man. The brother did something wrong to this lady. That's why she going so crazy. But in reality, the brother didn't do nothing. He just started his car. This lady came up to him, and now she at his window. Okay. See, if a, now check this out, brother. Check this out. If this lady was sitting in her car, the brother came walking up to her window. She pulls out a gun, and blasts his ass down. He laying on the ground. You know what? That white lady will walk away. No time, nothing. She say, oh, I thought he was going to kill me. That's why I pulled the gun out and I shot him. Now, I'm all for gun laws. They just do. He, if he had a gun, he should have just... No, let me take that back, brother. Let me, let me know that. I don't think... Well, let me don't get caught. We, we shouldn't be... Just because one person would be that evil, brother, we shouldn't be that evil. Now, if you feel like your life is threatened, then, of course, obviously, you should defend your life. But I'm saying he realized that this chick wasn't doing starting the problem so you know i'm not gonna say that he should have put blasted her no obviously not that's not what i'm saying I'm, that was how i was being funny but real in reality what he should have did was everything he did he did the right thing man he just videotaped this thing he just recorded everything he documented it and so that you know when the lies start flying oh he he tried to grab me before the you know you didn't see before the video it's 20 minutes of us talking before the video Right, it's so when they start talking with that old same old bullshit, the same old drag that they always do. You know, just like Rodney King. Oh, there's some stuff before the tape that you didn't even see. Okay, so before they do that, at least he documented everything, so he got his and he was able to get out there and tell everything about it. So okay, so let's uh, let's let's move on. Cause, but but I just want us to realize that if the shoe was on the other foot, she put out a gun and blasted dude. He'd been dead on the ground. They would have been psh, not guilty. Next. He scared little Anthony here by starting his vehicle. Now, brother, the, you can't even start your car around white people no more. <laughs> I guess when you go into a store, you got to wait till all the white people go inside. And then you can start your car. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. <laughs> Now, that shouldn't be no big deal. I mean, you know, that shouldn't be no big deal. You know, there's white people that feel like this, man. That shouldn't be no big deal, right? That ain't no big deal. Whew, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. This is just a sideboard. Can't imagine whoever that is on the phone has to come in to walk into the front door and look at this when they see it. Oh, my God. Imagine getting off of work and this is what you gotta walk in the front door and see. Whoo, my goodness. Oh man. Jeez, peace. But I want you young people to realize, man, there's people like this out there. So don't see these people gonna ruffle you. See, you you not used to Okay, we're just to do four things for us. Actually, I'm gonna actually do five things for us. Number one rate this video give us a rating let us know if you like what you what, what we're trying to do tell us what you think and what we can do to improve to make the people get better because that's the ultimate goal is to get these men and women to stop going to prison and start building better black families and better black people so we can all be better people on this planet next give us your comment you know tell us what you think uh, and what we can do to improve to help people get better like I said that's the ultimate goal if you like if you think what we say makes sense talk about it and leave us a comment 
we appreciate that and that'll get the ball rolling and then we'll start talking about some of these tough issues and maybe we can do something about them next thing is to like this video if you like what was said or something we're doing we would like to know that you support us we're not asking for donations just the push of a button that's all we ask for a few clicks of the button a few clicks of the mouse screen the mouse uh mouse a few clicks of the mouse and then um, you know we will they'll show us that you support what we're doing uh, share this video next thing is to share this video share this video in your sh social network if you like what was said or something we're doing please share this video on your in your social media network and talk about it with your friends if you think people if you think people need to hear this message then please share it as much as possible thanks for your support yeah just share as much as possible with this video with you might have a nephew or cousin that needs to hear this kind of thing or it might have people in your own network that need to hear this just on your social network just please share it as much as possible and the last thing is remember we have the urban male life skills boot camps that's our flagship program we have other things we have the home study course we have the uh, worksheets and workbooks but this is the flagship program to help our people try to get better so that we can stop having these young men and women go to prisons, particularly the men, because once we get the men, then I believe that the women will follow. So once, once we get them to stop going to prisons, then we, the women will follow, and then we will bring our, our community closer together, and we can stop uh, being in a pitiful condition we're in and start standing up and uh, doing some things to help our people get employed and have better lifestyles so anyway uh those are the things that we need you to do we, we ask you to do please help us in this cause thanks a lot